A postpartum hernia is probably more of a misnomer. Um, a postpartum hernia is usually a hernia that is already uh, the patient already has, and it just becomes more obvious once um, with pregnancy as the abdominal wall increases and causes the hernia to become more noticeable. There are a few different types of hernias that we commonly see um, postpartum. The most common that we see is an umbilical or a belly button hernia. Again, this is usually congenital, so um, the patient already had it from birth, but again, becomes more prominent as the abdominal wall increases in size. And most of the time, asymptomatic, you're not having any problems with it. The main differences between rectus diastasis and, and an umbilical hernia is that a hernia is actually a defect or a hole in the abdominal wall muscle layer. Rectus diastasis is really more of just a stretch of the abdominal wall um, in a certain area, um, and there's no true defect. Everybody has six-pack muscles going up and down along the abdominal wall, and kind of in the middle, you have a almost like a tendon, if you want to think about it like a, a zipper of a coat. And um, with pregnancy, with the increase in intra-abdominal pressure, and girth from pregnancy, that zipper gets stretched and it kind of pushes the muscle over and you can see a bulge just like you would typically see with a hernia. The signs to look for to tell if you have a hernia typically are a, a bulge or a protrusion of the abdominal wall. Again, most commonly we see um, umbilical or belly button hernias. So if you used to have an innie before a pregnancy and then you notice that during pregnancy you have an Audi, um, that probably is a belly button hernia. Um, but again, any kind of bulge or protrusion of the abdominal wall. The way that we treat hernias postpartum um, is to do surgery if you're having symptoms. So a lot of times um, after pregnancy, um, the hernia actually becomes asymptomatic again, again, because you're not having that increase in intra-abdominal pressure from the pregnancy. Um, if you're not having any symptoms, it's not causing you any problems, it's not causing you any pain, you can perform your daily activities. Um, you can live with the hernia, you can just watch it, and if you start developing symptoms, then you can um, seek treatment. But if you are having symptoms, if it's painful or uncomfortable, um, the only way to fix a hernia would be with surgery.